Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the meaning, definition of goodwill, features of goodwill and what is the need for calculating goodwill, what are the factors to be considered for calculating goodwill and lastly what are the methods of calculating goodwill. Now in this video the very important method that is super profit method I'm going to explain. Normally we have three methods, the average profit method, super profit method and capitalization method. Out of which the first method, average profit method already I have explained you in the last video. It's very simple. Take the average profit of the past few years, multiply by number of years of purchase. That means how many years we can be able to expect that the past average profit we can get in future. So simple method already have explained. Now the second very important method is super profit method. And last one capitalization method. These two methods I'm going to explain in this video. So watch the video till the end because if you are clear on the concept of how to calculate the goodwill by super profit method, then easily you can do the problems. You don't find any difficulty while solving the problems. So theory is very, very important. Don't underestimate the theory. Watch the video till then. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, the second method, super profit method. Under this method, the future maintainable profit of the concern whose goodwill is to be purchased is compared with the normal profit. So super profit method, we compare what is the expected future profit of the concern and this expected future profit of the concern will be compared with the normal profit to get the value of goodwill. So it is estimated future. If the estimated future profits are more than the normal profit, the difference is known as super profit. Example, if a business is there, the expected profit of the business is 2 lakh rupees. But the future expected profit of the business is 3 lakh. So normally this business will earn a profit of 2 lakh rupees in the industry. Whereas this particular business which is being sold that business, the future maintainable profit is 3 lakh. The excess of future profit over the normal profit is called super profit. So this is the measure of extra profit earned by the firm. So a business will have the goodwill when, then only when, then when it is having some super profit. If a business does not have super profit, there is no goodwill. The so goodwill will arise whenever the future expected profit are more than the normal profit. Goodwill is ascertained by multiplying super profit by the number of years in which the super profits are expected in future. That means first you have to calculate the super profit and super profit should be multiplied by number of years in which this super profit is expected in future. So simply in super profit method we compare the future maintainable profit with the normal profit. If the future maintainable profit is more than the normal profit, that difference is called super profit. Super profit should be multiplied by number of years of purchase will get the goodwill. Now, while calculating goodwill under this method, the following steps are required. What are the steps required for calculating goodwill under super profit? First, ascertain capital employed or, or and average capital employed. So two, uh, capital employed and average capital employed, we have to calculate in the first step. Second, find out the normal profit on the basis of normal rate of return. So normal profit is generally calculated on average capital employed. Second thing, we need the normal profit. Normal profit we can get by multiplying the average capital employed with the normal rate of return. What is normal rate of return? I'll explain NRR. So now you have to remember, first step, calculate the capital employed and average capital employed. Second step, calculate the normal profit by multiplying average capital employed with NRR, normal rate of return. 
ascertain the future maintainable profit. How much in future the business will earn the profit? Future maintainable profit that we have to have. Calculate super profit by deducting normal profit from FMP. The super profit is equal to future maintainable profit minus normal profit. In simple words, SP is equal to FMP minus NP. Then find out the goodwill by multiplying super profit by the number of years they are expected to be earned in future. Finally, goodwill we can get by multiplying the super profit into number of years of purchase. How many years we are expecting the super profit to be earned in future? That's all. So these are the five steps to be adopted while for calculating goodwill under super profit method. Now capital employed. The first step we need capital employed. So capital employed is calculated as follows assets. Assets. In assets we take all assets other than goodwill or fictitious assets and non-trading assets. So if we have to take all the assets of the organization whose goodwill we are calculating. In those assets, don't take goodwill, don't take fictitious assets. Fictitious means imaginary, like preliminary expenses, discount on issue of shares, discount on issue of debentures, or uh, accumulated losses. These are called fictitious assets, don't take it. And non trading assets like government securities. Remember this point. If you carefully watch and listen these points, definitely you don't find any difficulty while doing the problems. All the assets except goodwill, fictitious assets and non trading assets. Take other assets. Minus liabilities due to outside parties like sundry creditors, bills payable or bank overdraft, outstanding expenses. All these are outside liabilities. Deduct outside liability will get capital employed. Now average capital employed if we need opening capital employed plus closing capital employed divided by 2. But in many problems, opening capital employed may not be given. In that case, how to calculate average capital employed? Take the closing capital employed from closing capital employed, deduct half of the profit earned during the year. Deduct half of the profit earned during the year, you will get the average capital employed. Now, what is NRR? Normal rate of return. It is the rate of earnings which investors in general expect on their investments in a particular type of industry. The normal rate of return which a person will get by investing in a particular industry. It will change from industry to industry. For example, pharmaceutical industry, textile industry, like that different steel industry, electronic industry, so many different types of industries are there. Every industry has certain normal return. Example, a person investing in IT industry is expecting that IT industry normally gives a return of 25%. Similarly, fertilizer company, the investor in fertilizer company expects that they will get a return of 15% on their investment in fertilizer industry. So normal rate of return is the return which an investor will get from investing in a particular type of industry. In the problems, it will be given, in, it will be directly given. Now, normal profit. How to calculate normal profit? Take the average capital employed into NRR by 100. Average capital employed into normal rate of return by 100. This will give you normal profit. Now future maintainable profit. This is very very important. FMP. For calculating goodwill, it is not necessary that profit should be earned in the past. We need what is the profit to be earned in the future. So we need to calculate what is the expected profit to be earned in future. So goodwill is payment for extra profit expected in future. It is not enough to have good profit in the past. It is also necessary that extra or super profit should be available in future. So for calculating goodwill, not necessary that goodwill uh, profit should be more in the past. We need what would be the profit in the future. Then FMP is ascertained by adjusting past average profits with the expected changes in the future. So in this way we calculate goodwill. It is ascertained as follows. So we take the past average profit. To that we add those expenses which are incurred in the past but not expected to be incurred in future. 
some expenses were charged to profit in the last year in the previous years but those expenses are not required to be incurred in future that expense we add back similarly extra profit on new products in future some new products or new activities are going to be done so that profit is going to be increased so how much extra profit that will add up similarly less expenses to be incurred in future but not incurred in the past some expenses are required to be incurred in future that will deduct then we'll get the future maintainable profit so for calculating fmp some points you have to remember while calculating fmp it is advisable to average the profit of the past four or five years so first past average profit so we need the average profit of the last four or five years but if the profits are fluctuating and not showing a particular trend simple average profit is required one point you have to remember we have to see the past average profit if the past average profit uh, past profits are fluctuating not showing a particular trend take the simple average but many times what will happen the profits will not fluctuate it will show either an increasing trend or it will show a declining trend in that case it is better to calculate the average profit whether the profits are increasing showing an increasing trend or decreasing trend take the average profit oh sorry weighted average profit so how to calculate weighted average profit give the weights to every profit highest weight should be given to the latest profit for example if the profits are given for the last five years first year second year third year fourth year fifth year the fifth year will get five weight fourth year will get four weight third year we will get will give three weight like that highest weight will be given to the latest year then after giving the weights multiply the weight with the profit to get weighted profit take the total of the weighted profit divided by total of the weights you will get the average uh, average profit weighted average profit these are the steps after calculating weighted average profit then we can proceed then capitalization with last method so we have discussed about weighted uh, super profit method now next one is capitalization method this is the last method the total value of the undertaking is ascertained by capitalizing future maintainable profit at the normal rate of return the future maintainable profit is capitalized by taking into account the normal rate of return that will give you the value of the undertaking this value of the undertaking will be compared with the net assets net tangible assets value if the capitalized value of the future maintainable profit is 10 lakh whereas actual net assets of the business is 8 lakh the difference 10 lakh minus 8 lakh 2 lakh rupees is the goodwill and the simple method of calculating the goodwill according to capitalization method is goodwill is equal to super profit by nrr, NRR in 200 the so super profit divided by normal rate of return in 200 this will give you goodwill according to capitalization method so in this video i have explained you about super profit method and capitalization method so most of the problems are based on super profit method so super profit method goodwill is equal to super profit into number of years of purchase number of years of purchase are given in the problem only super profit you have to calculate what is super profit super profit is equal to fmp minus np future maintainable profit minus normal profit future maintainable profit is past average profit adjusted for future changes if there are no future changes simply take the past average profit that itself will be the fmp now normal profit is equal to average capital employed into nrr so nrr normal rate of return will be given in the problem but uh, average capital employed you have to calculate for calculating capital employed take all the assets except goodwill uh, fictitious assets and non-trading assets take the total of the assets minus outside liability will get could be uh, capital employed if uh, the capital employed at the beginning of the year is not given take the capital employed at the end, end of the year minus half of the profit earned during the year will get average capital employed that's all so if you have watched this video with full concentration you are conceptually clear about the goodwill and the problems will appear easy to you so all the problems are based on the theory so watch the theory not once twice thrice then only you can be able to get a good command 
on this topic. So inshallah we will continue the problem, we will start the problems in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your friends, among your groups so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. And subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will continue the problems in the next video.